Ladies and gentlemen, you might know me for my annoying, loud voice and personality, and sometimes my very cold, endearing voice that makes you very so entranced. I know that your panties are wet there, kid. But now is not the time to go on incognito mode and go grab the lotion and look up your favorite porn browser. Today, we're looking at a video that might actually shake your jambles a little too much. Now, you might be wondering, Hi, Lore, how could this ever shake my jambles so much? It's because of a touchy subject known as fat acceptance. I know, I know. It's a very touchy subject on TikTok because holy shit, if you disagree with any of these plus size women on the app, they will come after you like they are trying to eat you. Like literally eat you whole. Oh yeah, this shit has been spreading like wildfire like Abraham Lincoln's assassination. So today we're going to take a look at a video that I saw on Twitter. Plus size influencer who petitioned for free extra plane seats now wants hotels to enlarge hallways. She's really making a big deal about this now for starters before any of y'all in the comments are typing with your greasy hot dog fingers saying oh my goodness you're so mean this is exactly why i like what we're talking about yada 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 listen i don't hate fat people i want to get that clear and i just want to say that i do not hate fat people actually i love fat people and i'm a little bit chubby myself i will not lie but i and i mean i will never complain on twitter or actually any platform that i want to have the goddamn hallways be a little bit larger and so that I can have free extra plane seats so that I can sit my fat ass down and have so much goddamn room so I'm comfortable as shit. So well, let's take a look at this uh, fucking buffet of bullshit. I'm on a mission to revolutionize the travel industry and make it a more accessible, accepting, accommodating place for all. The Hold up, time out. We already got so much to unpack in this video. One, why does your body actually look like a fucking blue frosted cake? Like, holy shit, is that saying right? You are what you eat? She, like, she's literally turning into what she likes. And second off, I'm not even gonna say what I wanna say, but if y'all look at the screen, you, like, you know exactly what I'm thinking. Size inclusive hotel amenities are crucial for ensuring that plus size travelers feel welcomed, accommodated, and comfortable during their stay. We deserve an environment that respects our needs and body diversity. Why are you saying we as this is like some racist type of thing. This isn't some racial problem that's happening in the United States. It's not like every single person is just like becoming more and more fat or some shit or like they're just born obese. They're born 155 fucking pounds as soon as they came out of their mother's womb. It's because you guys keep on eating goddamn food and not moving and exercising. These are the exact steps that hotels can take to be more size inclusive and accessible for travelers of all sizes. Number one on the list, provide sturdy wider chairs without armrests. In guest rooms, lobbies, and common areas to accommodate different body sizes and types. Number two on the list, ensure beds with strong support and a higher weight capacity. Okay, so this is what you basically want. You want some 1780 battle-hardened goddamn industrial chairs and beds, by the way, so that your fat ass can just sit down normally and lay down normally instead of just losing weight like a normal human being would. Yeah, that's that's very smart for the economy, you know. Let's just like dump out one billion dollars for this fucking project and just like send out so many industrial chairs that can hold up fucking miniature mountains. And I know some people are gonna be like, well, there's actually some people with hypothyroidism and uh they actually cannot lose well, weight. Well, dumbasses, you can actually still lose weight with hypothyroidism as an eating disorder. You actually have to eat healthier foods move a lot more than you would normally do especially when you're doing exercise you need to up the intensity and then. eat shit with fucking protein in it like some chicken or something it's shit. not as as soon as you've reached like a certain weight limit you just can't ever lose weight again you can lose weight if you actually put the time and effort to do so number seven hotel restaurants should have roomy seating options and sturdy chairs ensuring that everybody can dine comfortably number eight offer larger beach and pool seating provide oversized loungers and seating at the beach and pool areas allowing travelers of all sizes and abilities to be comfortable i like how you think it's just like business's fault if they don't accommodate for you know big ass fucking oompa loompas to go into their stores or some shit it's not the business's fault if they see a goddamn wrecking ball come into their goddamn store they need a moving crane to move you inside and outside of the building at all times like, come on you are just trying so hard to be oppressed and it's just not fucking working number nine hotels should provide size inclusive bathrobes these should go up to a size 6x and beyond and hotels should also provide bath sheets or plus size friendly towels 
so that travelers of all sizes and abilities can use them comfortably. And last but not least, this is an important one. Display clear and accurate information on these amenities on hotel websites. Include weight limits, seat dimensions, and things like that. And include information on the size inclusive amenities available. This will help plus size travelers make informed decisions. By implementing these size inclusive hotel amenities, hotels can become more inclusive and accommodating. Be sure to hit that follow button for more plus size travel tips and share this with someone who you think would help. You know, there's like a huge little flaw inside of your plan there, Missy. Number one, where the flying fuck are you going to get the funding for this shit? Because I know damn well that the government is not going to spend over a billion dollars for this shit. Because you want this to affect the entire United States of America, it seems like. Two, you're big as shit and you don't have an opinion. So anyways, guys, that's it for the video. I've actually haven't made a YouTube video in like, what, five months? That's crazy. Anyways, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe because we're actually so fucking close to 5,000 subscribers. And, well, I, I have a little present for you at 5,000 subscribers. So if you guys can subscribe, uh, it'll be awesome. And also like the video because YouTube doesn't like to, you know, share my videos anymore because they're a bunch of fucking pieces of shit. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, I love you all. Peace out. Thank you for watching the video.